Well, hello YouTube. It has been quite a minute. If y'all are new to my channel, what is up? My name is JK. This is the Scooter Squad and I have been out of commission. I have been sick. I worked myself too much. I was not drinking enough water. Yes, y'all drink your water. Seriously, try and drink like a gallon a day if you can. Not just 12 cups, like legit. Um, I had had kidney stones in the past and I had an infected kidney stone, which led to a kidney infection and a bladder infection. And I was in the hospital for about four days and on bed rest for three days after that. Then I had to have surgery, which I just had a week ago from today and they broke up the kidney stone. I was on meds and I was on more meds and I was loopy and out of it. And I still tried to work a little bit in between that. Y'all, I finally feel like myself. I'm not on those meds anymore, but it's been weird detoxing from the meds and the way that it made me feel. My eyesight just, Meds are crazy, y'all. So I'm back to taking very minimal doses. I'm drinking mostly water, but I am partaking in coffee on occasion. And yeah, so it's been a hot minute. Cheers, guys. Thank you to the squad. Thank you to my friends and family. Um, yeah, I, I definitely was not doing okay. I was a little bit nervous there for a minute, but... I'm doing better. I finally feel like myself. I feel 90% better. And I'm going to take today to rest. It is my day off today. Doing some cleaning, doing some laundry, doing some meditation. Going to do some yoga today for the first time because I haven't been able to lift anything. Literally past like 8 pounds for the past few weeks just because of the pain and the procedure and all the things. It's just been a struggle. And my job, for those of you who don't know, I am in the kitchen. I would say I'm a pantry chef, but I'm actually about to be trained to work saute. So I just am a part of a kitchen crew. I'm in that environment and I love it. And it's new to me. I've only been doing it now eight months, which is crazy to say that, but I love it. And it's exhausting. And I worked two doubles in a row yesterday and the day before that and my body is like whoa you're still healing you're still recovering and working for like 13 to 14 hours a day now that I don't have a break but sometimes it's just easier to just go 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 instead of stopping and then your body's like I don't want to get up and so it's just been a lot in the recovery but I just wanted to say thank you guys for the squad, for the support to the beatboxers, beatboxers who actually messaged me. Like, it's just really cool. The community that I've grown in this period of time. And thank you, Scooter Squad. We are a group of people, if you don't know, really quick, that are about peace, love, positivity, good vibes. I am someone who has my own beliefs, yes. And I do share them on occasion on here. But no matter what you believe, no matter where you are in the world, I want you to know that this is a safe space for you to be yourself, to, you know, enjoy beatbox. And I love beatbox and I do beatbox reactions and other reactions to stuff, but mainly beatbox. And I'm excited because I'm going to the GBB for the first time this year in a couple months. And, you know, I made this channel so that I could be a light in your life and encouragement and you know, share things that I've gone through or I'm going through and what has helped me. And so I just want to thank you guys and welcome you to the Scooter Squad. Thank you all for your love, your support, your prayers, your messages, your comments, and for still rocking with the channel, guys. Like, this is insane that we've been doing this. Now I believe... I think we've had this channel for nine months now. That's insane, guys. Nine months, nine or ten months of this channel, and this is just the coolest. So it will be one year, actually, officially in November, and I'll be coming back from Japan. 
So update on that really quick before we get into this reaction because I'm just so excited to hear a new song by Brez. Y'all know, if you don't know, Brez is literally one of my all-time favorite loopers. He is a looper that got me into beatbox. Enemy vs. Brez was the first loop station um, battle I ever watched or was introduced to and thought it was the coolest. And I love hip-hop. And so Brez, much love to you, homie. By the way, guys, let's send our love and our prayers to Brez um, because he's been going through some health issues and I know from experience, like the pain of health issues, not on the level that he is, but let's just send our good vibes. Let's send our support and just send him all your good energies, your love, your healing, your prayers, and all of that for him to get better because our health and our well being is the most important thing above anything else. And that's what I want to bring to this channel, like I said. And so let's go show him love, yes, on his channel. Let's go show him support. But just as a human being to a human being, like, I hope, Brez, you get better. I hope that you feel okay. And, yeah, I honestly am so excited and hope I get to see Brez live. But also, also his health is most important. So if he doesn't go to the GBB, you know, I get that because traveling is very strenuous. But I'm hoping that he has healing. I'm hoping that he finds answers, too, and that he gets back to feeling like himself, I suppose, or even healthier than he's ever been. So, Brez, sending you love, homie. Much love from your girl, JK. I'm super stoked to... I need to also watch Unhinged. Shouts to Unhinged, bro. Um, I need to watch that wild card, too. Um, yeah, let's check out Brez. As always, guys, I'm going to take a sip of this coffee. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the love and the support. Thank you guys. Like it's so good to be back. I'm going to be doing a bunch of reactions today and uploading as many as I can. That's something that I'm going to try and do is starting to upload more videos again. Like I did in the beginning, I did have more time, but what I'm going to try and do healthy habits guys is wake up earlier and record a video and upload it that day or record multiple videos in one day and record them like one video a day or at least five videos a week. I'm trying to do like at least four to five videos a week guys for you. So we'll see, but headphones are always a must guys. It feels good to be back squad. It feels good to be back. Um, as always, please go show the original video love. I believe it's going to be on other platforms. So I will have links to this original video, to Brez's social medias, to his YouTube channel, and to this song, Face It, on other platforms. I'll find what links that I can in the description. Go there now if you don't do anything else. If you skip, um, you know, the intro, do this, this the most important thing. Other than knowing that your life is important, I will also have hotline links and a website in my description, including um, for you guys as well, because I think that's really important. Something I'm passionate about is mental health awareness, suicide awareness, along with human trafficking and other things. And yes, encouraging y'all to live a healthier life and doing things that can help you and how I can inspire you as best as I can, including great reactions. Um, but seriously, though, go show Brez love and let's listen to Face It for the first time. I'm stoked, guys. It's been a minute. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, I want to say about the GBB so <laughs> Oh, it sounds so clean. Hey, yeah. Yeah, check it, yeah, say that I don't want to be the best, no, this is not a sport and I'm not fighting with the rest, so why talk about me when I'm coming up with stage, I'm just stupid with my rage, let me come out of my cage and I'll be Bars. now, taking the microphone and get with a bad flow, it's on the motherfucker from the voice and I let it go, I'm yeah. gonna jump the slave, I'm gonna kill show just to let you know, yeah, that this is good vibes, really so, I don't want to be the best, I'm just gonna 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 be the best, I'm just g
I'm sure it's on other platforms. Wow. Wow, guys. He is amazing. I don't even know what I'm doing. I was going to maybe go back. You guys, Brez is dope. Show love to Brez. That's the most important thing, other than knowing that your life is important. Again, hotline links in the description. Please don't hesitate to reach out for help. If you're going through something, if you're not in a good situation, your safety, your health, your well-being is most important. So please take care of yourself. Um, guys, I have heard this track before, um, but obviously this is the chef's kiss version. Um, wow, Brez, like so much respect for you, bro. So much hype. And just to hear and see growth in an artist is just really amazing and i can't wait to see this song blow up it's fire i hope to see this live one day y'all oh i'm gonna lose it i literally am going to lose it i'm gonna lose it i hope to see brez live i believe it will happen um squad thank you so much seriously i know i i'm gonna say that a bunch in my videos but Seriously, your kindness, your love, your support for me means the world. So I really hope that you guys are taking care of yourselves. I really hope that you guys are doing well. And as a true, separate, encouraging message, I just want to remind you guys something that I really had time to think about. Even though I was kind of loopy on drugs, there was moments that I wasn't. And just having this time being sick and being in the hospital and being at home and being not 100% myself and being able to function like I used to in that time period, I was really in my thoughts and in my head and really reminded that what we focus on and what we think on and what we say really is important. And I've said that in the past, but I even experienced it myself and I caught myself in moments where I was really in a dark place mentally and emotionally and I had to catch myself in those moments and talk to my own counselor and talk to other friends and people I trusted and that love me in moments where I'm just really struggling and you know that phrase or saying think happy thoughts or think positive thoughts you know it really is true but I know that some days are a struggle, some moments, some weeks, some seasons, if you want to call it, in life are difficult. And it's almost like 
we need those rallying of people around us to help us, but also know that that strength is within you as well. In that even in your moments of weakness that you can have healing and forgiveness and strength and love as you are growing and healing and becoming that healthier person in your mind. And something that I had to let go of was that shame and that guiltiness of going back to old habits or thinking in ways that I used to for a moment, like I caught it faster than I used to, or I didn't react how I used to, like that's a huge win. And recognizing those wins of our growth and our healthiness and like being like, you know what, I'm not going to beat myself up or bring hate on myself because I had a moment of weakness. What, I, what I'm going to do is be thankful that I'm alive, be thankful that I'm here and that I'm growing and I have opportunity to become a healthier person. And where I'm still weak or where I'm struggling or where I still need improvement, and where I've overcome, I focus on those things and I put my plan inside and I try and be aware of what is triggering these thought patterns, what happens in my day to day, what happens in my life or what has happened that I need healing from. And sometimes that means you do need a counselor, a therapist, a pastor, a friend, a family member, someone that doesn't know you or your family or your friends a spouse, maybe um, whoever, or if it's multiple people that you have in your life, or even sometimes some things are just between you and God or you and your higher power. For me, like that is God. And for me, I have different people that I discuss things with, but sometimes that's just me. Sometimes it's just me and myself and I and just navigating that moment of silence and and meditating on what I've experienced, what I've been exposed to, where I still need growth, what I want to grow towards, the areas that I need improvement. And sometimes it's difficult. And being self-aware also means taking responsibility for our own actions. I know I've hurt people. I've hurt myself. I've made mistakes. I've messed up. But I also know deep down that's not my identity those mess ups, those mistakes, all I can do now is ask myself for forgiveness. That doesn't mean I go talk to all of those people that I hurt because some of them are toxic and unhealthy for me now. But as I'm navigating my journey of healthiness, guys, part of this squad, part of this channel is I share that with you guys to an extent. And there are some moments that I've gotten super vulnerable and cried to you guys and shared what's literally happening in my life. And There's some things that are, like I said, just for me. And I just want you guys to know that as I've navigated this past 30 days of healing and recovering in my body, my mind has taken a shift and it hasn't been easy. And it's been moments of like scary that I would go back to these dark thoughts of myself, but I'm giving myself grace. I'm thankful for my friends, my family that are there with me. I'm thankful for God. And I'm thankful that for me, I am becoming a healthier person. And the journey of healthiness, it's not a one day thing. It's not a one week thing. It's a lifelong journey. And it's not about arriving to this point. Yes, I want to be healthier. Yes, I want to be stronger mentally, physically, emotionally. But I'm going to have moments when I fall. I'm going to have moments when I'm weaker. But I'm also going to have moments when I'm stronger. I'm going to have moments when I am better than I was yesterday. But even if I'm not, I'm not going to live in an unhealthy mindset of myself. I'm going to process what I need to process. Heal what I need to heal from. And take my time every day. And take it one step at a time. I might be on a journey of climbing a mountain right now, but it's one step at a time and I'm doing it as best as I can while staying hydrated because I got to do that. Literally, my kidneys are screaming at me. No, for real though, drink your water, people. Like it's extremely important. Try and add key limes actually are the healthiest for you versus lemon 
or oranges, like fresh key lime or lime juice and fresh orange juice in your water. It helps. It helps people. Um, but yeah, thank you, squad. I don't really have much to say other than let's get into some more beatbox reactions. I will, like I said, be posting a couple more videos this week just as a I'm back. And it's good to be back, squad. Thank you again. I'm going to say it 50 times in a video. Thank you guys for your support, your love, your messages, your prayers. It means the world, squad. So JK is out. I will catch you on the next one. Much love. Bye.